Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a homemade functional equation. We have f of f of x plus x plus y equals 12x plus 3y plus 8. And we're going to be solving for f or f of x. In other words, we're going to find an expression for f of x in terms of x only. Okay? That's our only variable. Now, we're going to be doing a lot of substitution. And don't worry about the same variable being used over, over and over. For example, I'm going to say something like, okay, replace y with 0, and I'm going to say replace y with x, or y with negative x. So we're going to interchangeably use these, and once we use them, we just discard them if we don't really care about the result. I mean, we care about the result, but we don't really care about using the same thing again, because it's not the same thing. Every time, it's a fresh new variable. Okay? Great. So how do we solve functional equations like this? This one. This one could be considered an easy kind, and you could probably tell something about the nature of this function, but there's no guarantee that it's going to be that way. Why am I not telling you what it is? Because I don't want to spoil the surprise. But let's go ahead and start by replacing x and y with something. This is totally going to be experimental. I'm not exactly sure if I have a good solution prepared, but let's go ahead and see, kind of like, just let's just wing it, okay? So replace x and y with 0 at the same time. What happens if you do that? You're going to get f of f of 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals 8. Cool. I mean, that doesn't give me a lot of information, but it kind of gives me something. You can go ahead and call f of 0 c if you want, and this will tell you, okay, f of c is 8 if f of 0 is called c. Okay, it's kind of like a two points on the graph. And then I want to do something more interesting. How about replacing y with negative x? Hmm. Do you think that's going to be helpful? Or I could even replace y with negative x minus f of x. Okay, let's go ahead and explore that first because I don't want to get to the bottom of this real quick. Okay, just keep the suspense. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Replace y with x negative x minus f of x. And the reasoning behind it is I want to turn this to zero. So that, or I mean the whole thing, sorry. I want to turn the whole thing to 0 so that I can get f of 0. f of 0 is c. Hopefully, I can use that information. Make sense? Now, when you replace, let me copy, like write the functional equation one more time. f of f of x plus x plus y equals 12x plus 3y plus 8. So when you replace y with negative x minus f of x, Everything inside the parentheses will cancel out. You're going to end up with f of 0, right? On the right-hand side, you need to replace y with what? Negative x minus f of x. Let's do that, n plus 8. Of course, x is going to stay the same. You're not replacing x with anything. x is free. You're just replacing y with negative x minus f of x. Make sense? Awesome. Let's go ahead and simplify this as much as possible. This gives me f of 0 equals... 12x minus 3x, which is 9x, minus 3f of x plus 8. Hmm. Maybe I can just put the 3f of x on the left-hand side because I'm trying to solve for f of x, so that kind of makes sense. This gives me 9x plus 8 minus f of 0. Remember, f of 0 is a constant, and I can even replace it with c. And that gives me 3f of x equals 9x plus 8 minus c. C is a constant, 8 is a constant, 8 minus C is a constant. Make sense? Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 3 now. That gives us 3x plus 8 minus C divided by 3. I mean, why did I put a 2 there? I don't know. It's supposed to be a 3. Now, we got f of x. Pretty close, right? I mean, all we have to do is find C. Well, finding C is that easy? Think about it. What is it? What is C? C is f of 0. Remember that? So, all you have to do is... If you're trying to find c, replace x with 0, and you got it. Replace x with 0, you're going to get 0, plus 8 minus c divided by 3. Why am I not replacing c with something? Because c is not a variable. c is a constant. Remember, c is the first letter of the word constant. Why is it pronounced constant? I don't know. It's just English. So, from here, what do you get? You get this equals c. 8 minus c equals 3c. Put the c's on the same side. 4c equals 8 and then c equals 2. Hopefully, you see what I see. Okay, I don't have 2c, so I can't really use that joke, but 
at least I said something. C equals 2 gives us really nice uh, result because I can go ahead and now plug it in. F of x would be 3x plus 8 minus c, which is 8 minus 2, 6, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So f of x is 3x plus 2. What I was trying to say at the beginning was, you probably guessed f is linear, but I didn't want to say it because that would spoil the surprise. Obviously, if you just guess that f is linear, you can just plug in f of x equals ax plus b, and hopefully that'll give you the values of a and b. Therefore, you'll get f of x. This doesn't bring us to the end, so we're going to still do the second method. I didn't call the first method first, but it is the first method. Now let's go ahead and see how we can approach this problem a little differently. Okay, so we have this equation now. And let me tell you how I made up this equation real quick, because you can also do the same. I just come up with, an, uh, with f of x first. The, I start with the answer. In this case, it's 3x plus 2. And then I just add something for flavor. And then apply f again on this, and I got the right hand side, and then there you go. But of course, then I delete this, erase it, and you wouldn't see what f of x is. You would have to reverse engineer the process. Well, it's not too hard in this case. So now, what am I going to do next? Hmm. Here's what I could possibly do. I wanted to get f of x directly from here, right? So maybe I should replace y with something more meaningful, right? Maybe I, I could use something like this. If I can turn, if I can turn uh, this into zero, right? Can I do that? Then I should be getting f of y from here. But that's not easy because if you think about it, f of x plus x equals zero implies that you replace x with negative f of x, which may not always be true because notice that this kind of depends on the value of x, doesn't it? Am I thinking correctly? Anyways, so here's what, what we can do. We can try to set uh, this equal to something else. So my goal is to solve for f of x, right? So what else can I do? Let's think about it. So I could probably use, okay, if I say, um, if I assume that f is linear, I can go ahead and replace f of x with ax plus b, plug it in here, and that should give me a solution. But is there another way to get to the answer kind of like maybe quickly? We could try to replace y with negative x. I think that'll help a little bit. If you do that, you're going to get on the left-hand side f of f of x, x is not going to change, plus x minus x, and on the right hand side, 12x minus 3x plus 8. Okay, let's see where this leads us. This is going to give us f of f of x equals 9x plus 8. Hmm. If you know f is linear again, this is easy, but the million dollar question is, are there non-linear solutions to this equation? You could probably find some discontinuous functions, but if f is continuous, I doubt it. I don't think you're going to be able to find something meaningful. So here's what I would like to do then. I want to turn this maybe into this. How about making this zero? Yes, that would work. So what about replacing y with negative f of x? Let me rewrite my equation and I believe this is going to work. Okay. Like I said earlier, I didn't prep for the solution. I'm just thinking about it right now. If you replace y with negative f of x, f of x and negative f of x are going to cancel out. Of course, you have to do it on both sides. And these two are going to cancel out, leaving us with f of x. Beautiful. On the right-hand side, we're going to get 12x minus 3 times f of x plus 8. Put the 3 f of x on the left-hand side, 3 f of x. And then we have the plus f of x equals 12 x plus 8. This gives us 4 times f of x equals 12 x plus 8. Divide both sides by 4. You'll get f of x equals 3 x plus 2 as before. And yes, this would be shorter. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.